good day to everyone so in the last video we have discussed about the pressure difference uh, across the liquid surface and uh, how to calculate the excess pressure inside the, the inside the so uh, a liquid drop also with the how the how to calculate the excess pressure inside the curved liquid surface and we have also uh, discussed the some related problems so in this video we are going to see the, the how this uh, surface tension is affected by the uh, various external uh, properties like temperature and impurities and contaminations uh, how this uh, property is affecting the uh, the surface tension so first we are going to look at the how this uh, surface tension is actually varying with respect to temperature so once if you are considering the liquids the so liquids is of, uh, is of two types one is the uh, unassociated liquid and the next one is the associated liquid so if you consider the unassociated liquid this unassociated liquid actually contains the individual molecules of that corresponding liquid for example the benzene and the carbon tetrachloride so these are all the uh, liquids which is containing only the uh, the individual molecules however if you consider the associated liquid so this associated liquid is actually consist of a group of uh, molecules uh, for example so this associated uh, liquids are actually how Uh, tend to break up into single molecules when you you rise the temperature of the corresponding liquid for example in ordinary liquid in ordinary temperatures the water molecules they actually consist of groups for example it consists of uh, two h2o molecules in addition to the ordinary single h2o molecules however if you want try to uh, increase the temperature then the two molecules actually break uh, break into two different uh, 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 water molecules so that the temperature the surface tension will actually decrease once if you increase the temperature so in general so if you increase the uh, temperature or if you increase the temperature then uh, both unassociated as well as associated li associated liquid the surface tension will they will get to decrease so once if you consider this unassociated liquid so this un, uh, uh, the means that the, the surface tension is actually uh, decrease when the, when the rise or when the temperature is actually rise according to the formula uh, so the sigma t which is equal to sigma 0 times of 1 minus alpha into t so here this sigma t is the the surface tension at uh, t degree centigrade and uh, t0 is the the surface tension at uh, uh, 0 degree centigrade so the alpha is the the temperature coefficient which is actually depending upon the Uh, the liquid which you are using and t is the the corresponding temperature so this equation is actually uh, explaining the uh, variation of surface tension with uh, uh, temperature for only for the unassociated liquids so that this uh, temperature this equation is actually further modified uh, into uh, the mean, which can be rep I mean, uh, modified into uh, represent the both unassociated as well as the associated liquid that uh, equation can be written as sigma times of pm vx to the power 3 by 2 which is, is equal to k times of theta i'm uh, sorry r uh, tc minus t minus d so here the sigma is again the the surface tension at uh, uh, some t degree centigrade or t degree kelvin t kelvin or uh, tc is the the critical temperature at which the surface tension of the corresponding liquid is going to be equal to zero So that is a critical temperature. Ah, uh, this D is a constant. So this constant is actually varying with uh, varying with uh, in the range of six to eight uh, for very uh, for most of the liquid. And uh, this K is the the another constant. Uh, so this is also a one of the another constant which is having the a uh, value of two point one two 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 point two two. Uh, it means the 2.12 for the associated uh, liquid and for 2.22 is for the unassociated liquid so the x is the the coefficient of association so this coefficient of association is the ratio of the effective molecular weight of the associated liquid be divided by the the molecular weight of the 
of the unassociated uh, liquid so this x is the coefficient of association which is a ratio of effective molecular weight of the associated liquid by my effect, uh, molecular weight of the unassociated liquid so the m is the, the capital m is nothing but the the molecular weight of the unassociated liquid and finally the v is the specific volume So from this uh, equation, we can identify that the surface tension is going to be equal to zero when the T, which is, is equal to uh, T C minus D, that is the temperature which is uh, little below than the, the critical temperature. So once if you plot the graph between this uh, uh, the surface tension as well as the temperature, so this is the temperature and this is the uh, surface tension. So initially for the T equal to zero, that means the temperature is at most room temperature or temperature equal to zero, we have a, a specific value of temperature. And so once if you are trying to increase the uh, the, te the temperature, then the surface tension is actually uh, going slowly downwards and uh, it is actually reaching to the some value, I mean the, the value of zero, surface tension is going to be zero at the uh, value of temperature. That the temperature is actually, the temperature is actually known as the, the critical temperature. So once this uh, the temperature is actually uh, raised to be above this uh, critical temperature, there, there means a higher temperatures, then molecules of the corresponding liquid themselves possess greater average kinetic energy and are moving about the um, because about uh, very rapidly moving on the surface. So this reduces the effect of the molecular attraction. Therefore, uh, the less work is actually needed to bring the molecules from the interior of the liquid to the surface. Therefore, the surface tension of the liquid is actually decreased with the temperature, I mean, the, when, uh, if you rise the temperature. Similarly, suppose if you are adding uh, impurities and contaminations into the, uh, into the liquid and uh, some of the dissolved substances will also actually try, I mean, it will try to lower the uh, surface tension of the corresponding liquid. So, this uh, in uh, adding the uh, contaminations or impurities uh, will actually having many applications. For example, if you take the soap powder and uh, soap into it by adding into this uh, water, then uh, the, uh, the water surface tension will actually decrease and uh, this is actually helping to uh, 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 clean the clothes, cloth. So this variation of temperature, uh, variation of surface tension with temperature can be identified using the several experimental methods or experimental studies. So one of the studies uh, which we are going to see now. So the experimental setup is actually shown in this. Uh, a figure, the schematic diagram. So here we have a, 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 a large glass duct which is actually have, kind of filled with the water and uh, which is having the, some temperature and this temperature can be measured using this uh, thermometer. So the whole, uh, this is a U-tube, uh, the U-type, a U-shaped tube which is containing, consisting of two different tubes uh, attached by the another uh, curved tube. So here this AB is the, the capillary glass tube which is connected with the another glass tube CD of a, a comparatively wider uh, uh, wider uh, radius. Suppose so AB is the capillary tube which is having the radius of R1 and uh, the another uh, tube CD is actually having the radius of R2. So this is R1 and this is R2. So this whole uh, the U-shaped tube is actually uh, uh, filled in the, I mean, uh, kept in the uh, constant temperature uh, bath which is having the some temperature. So in the inside this tube, we are actually pouring the uh, the uh, the experimental liquid into this uh, uh, the in, in this U-shaped tube. So once you pour the liquid, it is actually making a, a concave-like shape in the, uh, the in the water glass. I mean the, the glass tube. So you can measure the uh, so you the, uh, the angle of contact that you can be written as theta. So for the liquid as a glass is actually which is actually less than the 90 degrees. So the liquid actually stand much more higher in the narrower limb of then in narrower tube of AB. So that means uh, if the angle of contact is less than 90 degree, then this uh, uh, the uh, liquid in this uh, capillary tube AB is actually having the high meniscus. Or for example, if the theta is greater than 90 degree, for example, if you pour the mercury into this uh, water glass, I mean the, the glass, then the, uh, the, uh, the liquid column in this uh, glass AB will be depressed into a a tube to a position of some h uh, uh, h degree h de uh, height de below this uh, uh, 
uh, liquid column in the CD so that the difference between this uh, uh, water levels between this U tube can be written as H. And suppose if you consider the sigma is the uh, the surface tension of the liquid which you are considering, and theta is the the angle of contact with the glass. As I already mentioned, this R1 and uh, R2 are the radius of the glass tubes. CAB and uh, uh, CD respectively and if we consider the P is the atmospheric pressure then we can calculate the pressure just below this liquid meniscus in AB can be written as so the, the pressure just below the When a liquid meniscus in the glass tube AB that can be written as uh, the atmospheric pressure minus 2 times of uh, sigma into cos theta divided by R1. So, how this cos theta is came? Suppose if you consider this uh, high uh, the, the, the water meniscus which is having the radius of uh, means the uh, radius of the curvature is taken as uh, R1 or a small R1. So, the capital R1. So, if you consider this is the water, uh, the glass tube which is having the radius of R1 and this is the, the I mean, uh, uh, the water, the water, the, the meniscus of the liquid which is having the radius of curvature is R1 and uh, which is actually making an, uh, a contact angle as theta. So, the remaining, uh, uh, the, the so the remaining angle which can be written as 90 degree minus theta. So, the horizontal and vertical component can be divided into cos theta and sin theta. So, from this uh, we obtained a cos theta. So, that uh, the pressure just below this liquid meniscus can of the, uh, uh, the glass tube AB can be written as the absolute pressure minus 2 sigma cos theta divided by R1. Similarly, the pressure just below the the liquid men the liquid meniscus in uh, the in other uh, glass tube CD that can be written as P minus two sigma again the cos theta divided by R two. Therefore, if you consider the taking the difference between this uh, pressure in the two different glass tubes, so the difference of pressure. in the two glass tubes which can be written as so if you subtract these two equations this p and b will get cancelled so you'll get 2 sigma cos theta times of 1 by r1 minus 1 divided by r2 so this pressure difference is actually balanced by the hydrostatic pressure uh, h into rho into g uh, due to this liquid column in the U tube, uh, the U shaped tube. So, here the H is the, the height difference between the liquid levels in the two different uh, tubes and the rho is the density of the corresponding liquid. So, that we can just equate this to the pressure difference as well as atmospheric that this uh, hydrostatic pressure. So, uh, 2 sigma cos theta into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2 which is, is equal to H times of rho into G. And from this relation, we can easily calculate what is the surface tension is that means the sigma, which is nothing but the h times of rho into g divided by 2 times of 1 divided by r1 minus 1 divided by r2 multiplied by this cos theta. So, using this relation, we can easily calculate the, the surface tension of the corresponding liquid. So, this sigma is actually, actually is depending upon the temperature T and once if you increase the uh, temperature of the the water outside this uh, glass tube or a liquid i mean the temperature of the liquid in the glass tube then the uh, the height will be also will vary and this experiment can be repeated with uh, uh, with a liquid maintained at different temperature by means of the suitable temperature box so this sigma t can be also uh, calculated using this relation also this relation uh, sigma 0 1 minus alpha into t and if you differentiate this equation with uh, tem the temperature, you get uh, uh, d sigma divided by dt, which is, is equal to minus alpha into sigma 0. 
so this is actually giving by actually given by the the slope suppose if you plot the graph between this uh, temperature with the uh, surface tension so we'll get the uh, a line like this so that you can get take the slope to be this you get the negative slope from this you can easily calculate the what is the you can also calculate the the temperature coefficient also for a particular liquid so here you already know this the sigma zero is the surface tension at the some zero degree centigrade okay so using this experiment we can easily calculate the variation of the surface tension with i mean with the variation of surface tension with the, uh, the temperature okay so stop here and uh, we will discuss the, uh, the remaining process in the next video okay thank you